saving money and half a million man hours. That's how the military could be impacted by a new direct flight from San Antonio International Airport to D.C.'s Reagan National Airport. Yesterday, we gave you the highlights of the city press conference updating us on that possible deal. Today, Courtney Friedman zooms in on why this is crucial for Military City USA. San Antonio hosts the largest joint base in the Department of Defense. Joint Base San Antonio supports 266 mission partners and employs 82,000 active duty members and civilian employees. Many of those positions connect with leaders located in Washington, D.C. So Mayor Ron Nuremberg says a whole lot of money and effort is being spent on that travel. Alone with the military connections that are made each day between SAT and DCA, our military and its partners would save over 500,000 man hours each year. Major General Juan Ayala says this flight is essential to our national defense and is more important now than ever. We've grown by quite a bit in number of troops and a number of units. I think we will continue to grow. And it's not just about active military. The flight would affect veterans, too. Think about the honor flights every year that take war veterans to D.C. for the trip of a lifetime. It is difficult sometimes with a, uh, no, the direct flight being into Baltimore, then we have to bus into D.C. Honor Flight Vice Chairman Court Van Strickland says this direct flight would allow those heroes to spend much more time in D.C. It would save about two hours of a trip for us and a lot of money. Buses, meals. The military representatives involved in this years long, hard fought effort to secure this flight say it's long overdue. There's only one more step before this flight's approved, and that's in your hands. They need some public comments. So you can head to the Department of Transportation website, click comment right here, and leave your positive message. You can find this website on KSAT.com. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.